Welcome to ABC Adventures. I'm Miss Barb, and I have a question. I have this. Can you figure out what letter we're talking about today? Hmm. I got it started. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see if I can do some more, and maybe you can figure it out. And then I'll tell you how I did this. So... Can you figure it out yet? Can you figure out what letter it's going to be? I'm almost done. Let's get to the end. Let's get to the end. I'll put you know now. Right? It's the letter N. N. I took a white crayon and drew over the white paper and then took watercolors and painted over it to show us our letter N. All right, so the letter N, and I have, oh, I got paint all over it. <laughs> One of our words today is the, is the word nest, nest, and our book later on is about a nest too. So let's do two little birds up in a tree, build a nest for all to see. Little babies come. One, two, three. And they all make a happy family. We'll try it one more time. Two little birds up in a tree build a nest for all to see. Along came the babies, one, two, three. And they make a happy family. All right. And another N word is the word nails. There's nails. So what you pound with a hammer, so this is the way we pound our nails, pound our nails, pound our nails. This is the way we pound our nails, so early in the morning. Now, another word, the word nuts. You know the word nuts? Like peanuts, walnuts. Here we go gathering nuts in May, nuts in May, nuts in May. Here we go nut gathering nuts in May on a cold and frosty morning. All right, so can you think of any other N words? N words. Can you think of any words that rhyme with or sound like nest? I know best. About guest, about nails. Can you think of any rhyming words for nails? Hmm, nails, gales. That's like a big windstorm. Is a gale, and hail is something that comes out of the sky. It's not raining, but it's little pellets. It's we call it hail. Mail, which comes to our house every day. So those are just some words. And let's read our story today. And it's also an N word. And it's called The Perfect Nest. And it's written by Catherine Friend and illustrated by John Manders. So there... Well, what's he doing? He's hammering nails. That's Jack. Jack the cat gathered together everything he needed, then built the perfect nest, dry and cozy and just the right size. Great. Wonder what he needs a nest for. He's a cat. Cats, do they live in nests? I don't think so. But the nest was not for Jack. What's this perfect? With this perfect nest, he would attract a perfect chicken who would lay a perfect egg, which would make a perfect omelet for a cat like Jack. Soon enough, here comes the chicken. It says, welcome. And up he's going to go. There's that perfect nest. So the nest was not for Jack. It was for this chicken. What's the chicken say? Ay, caramba! A perfect nest. She hopped up and laid an egg. Then a duck waddled by. Sacre bleu, she cried. The perfect nest. 
So now the duck's coming through. The duck pushed the chicken out, hopped up, and laid a medium-sized egg. Then, oh, here comes a goose lumbering by. Great balls of fire, she cried. Ah, perfect nest. So, so far, the nest is working. The goose pushed the duck out, hopped up, and laid a large egg. All right, so here's the chicken, the duck, now the goose. See the eggs? There's the small one, the medium one, and the large one. Ah, look at Jack. Jack's mouth began to water. Three eggs would make omelets, three omelets. He's ready. But then the duck leaped onto the goose's back. This is my nest. The chicken flew up onto the duck and said, no, this is my nest. The three cackled and quacked and honked, but each refused to leave the perfect nest. They squished each other for days. Oh, no, now the nest is so perfect, nobody wants to leave. Each day, Jack tried to get the birds off the eggs. Fire! Fire! he cried. They didn't move. Flood! Flood! he cried. They didn't move. Woof! 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 he cried. But the chicken, the duck, and the goose... They wouldn't move. So what a nest they have. He has made such a nice nest for them. Finally, Jack stood before them. You birds are so silly. The next farm over has an even better nest. And it's empty. Why doesn't one of you use that nest? An empty nest, cried the chicken. Without a goose to sit on my head, I caramba. Sacre bleu, cried the duck. I am tired of smelling like the chicken. That nest is mine. Great balls of fire, cried the goose. Out of my way. There they all go. They're all going to the next perfect nest. Alone at last, Jack returned to the nest and peeked inside. He arranged the eggs neatly in a row and small for breakfast, medium lunch, and large for dinner. Jack's stomach started to rumble. But then, uh-oh, <gasps> crack! The small egg broke open and out popped a wet baby, a baby chick, right? Who looked up at Jack and said, I caramba, holy mama. He thinks Jack is his mom. Rackety snap! The medium-sized egg broke open and out scrambled a wet baby duck who looked up at Jack and said, Sacre bleu! Bonjour, mama! Oh, and I guess the last one. Can you see? It says, Crackety, crackety boom! The largest egg broke open and out stepped a wet baby goose who looked up at Jack and said, Great balls of fire! Howdy, Ma! <laughs> Not what Jack was expecting for it was his eggs, was he? Jack stared at the babies. What was he to do? He couldn't make omelets out of them. I hope not, right? Dry me, dry me, dry me, cried the soggy baby chick. Feed me, feed me, feed me, cried the hungry baby duck. Play, 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 cried the excited baby goose. Jack hid in the barn. The three babies found him. He hid in the woods. Well, they found him there, too. Now he hid under the tractor. But do you see them coming? There they are. No matter where he goes, they think he's their mom. They have to be with their mom. The three babies dragged him back to the nest. They want him there. <laughs> Poor Jack. Do you see his face? Poor Jack. I go, what am I going to do? Sleep, 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 the tired babies finally whispered. Cold, 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 said the shivering babies. Jack scratched his head. 
Someone had to care for these babies, but there was no one else around. Ah, now do you know what's going to happen? Sure you do. Jack lifted all three babies into the nest. Buenas noches, mama, said the baby chick. Bon nuit, mama, said the baby duck. Sweet dreams, ma, said the baby goose. Then Jack climbed into the nest and the babies fell asleep. That's when he realized that this really was the perfect nest. Well, that's all I have today. I hope you can re can learn some end words. Um, just remember to read, read, read. Play is good. Songs. We didn't do too many today. However, keep singing, reading, and enjoy. I'll see you next time. Bye.